Okay, my name is Marissa John, and I'm going to tell you about the Nanny Van, which is a mobile design studio and sound lab that accelerates the movement for domestic workers' rights. And uh, we are working with domestic workers nationwide, our key partner is National Domestic Workers Alliance, and we are creating new resources to improve their welfare. So to understand where we're coming from, you first need to know that in the 1930s and 40s, the New Deal labor laws intentionally excluded domestic workers from receiving those same rights. However, in New York in 2010, domestic workers won a Bill of Rights that guarantees minimum and overtime wage uh, and so forth. And now what's really exciting is that those laws are changing nationwide. So, but in New York, to inform the 200,000 domestic workers about their newfound rights, we created this tool where you can call in using any kind of phone and hear humorous episodes about the law or about health and safety. Um, this is the logo that we produced on the business cards and the flyers. And uh, the way that the word gets out is uh, primarily through um, advocacy groups and a lot of on-the-ground uh, outreach by nannies to each other in the park. Um, and a key thing to know is that you can access it using any kind of phone, so even a really basic GB phone. So now, as I mentioned, the laws are changing nationwide, and uh, Massachusetts is going to be the fourth state to pass their Bill of Rights. And uh, so we're creating a national version of that. Uh, and to do that, we created the nanny van. So essentially, we've been trekking around the country and meeting with domestic workers. So um, we have a couple different groups that we think of as a demographic, okay? So we have the domestic workers, and we have done a lot of surveys and evaluative feedbacks, and we know that we reach them primarily through basic cheapy cell phones. Then we also work with domestic employers, and we, they have indicated that uh, they're most um, keen to access stuff via the web, and then for the general public, or what we think of as left-leaning liberals who are inclined to um, want to do the right thing, it's via social media, so, uh, and Twitter specifically, Twitter and Facebook. So here are some of the examples of um, events and ways of outreach. Here's a group of nannies at the SF Public Library doing a, a lion dance to the tunes of the Nantham. Here is a group of 140 nannies, they're not all in the picture here, and they are creating nanny van grams dedicated to political leaders, and um, the pictures are then tweeted to local leaders and then delivered in person. So in Massachusetts, they were delivered to the state house. Um, and then for the other demographic, the fourth demographic is political leaders, and that's in-person um, meetings as well as those tweets. So we've been um, really kind of crafting and honing the specific ways that we reach these very different demographics. Um, employers outreach includes things like farmers markets or food truck stops or um, uh, here we are at a private high school doing workshops with um, high schoolers to, who likely have domestic workers. Here we are creating placemats for um, the children of uh, domestic employers and the idea is that people color it in, the kids color it in and it goes onto the refrigerator as a kind of trickle up tip. So this is what our audience engagement plan looks like, and we've been crafting and honing and so forth. So um, the thing that really blew us away through all of this was that uh, a few weekends ago, we went to uh, the Queen's Museum, where we had an event, and it was really successful. We, were, we got a couple of hundred um, nanny van grams, it was mostly uh, domestic employers, as well as um, the general public, so culture-going, left-leaning public. And then the, that was on a Saturday. And then the Sunday, what happened was there was this antique auto show. And so we backed up the nanny van, there it is in the background, and we backed it about 20 feet, and then all of a sudden there was thousands of people coming by to take all of our resources. And this was just, so this is, uh, like we had not anticipate antique uh, car fetishists as part of our demographic. And so here is uh, Dom Martali, who runs the auto antique show in the Queens, and it's this kind of roving thing, and that really exploded what we think of as the general public. And so now, as we're continuing to go across the country, here we are at Grand Canyon, um, we're just rethinking this idea of the general public and um, opening our minds as to who, who is interested in domestic workers' rights and these new um, ways to support domestic employers and workers. Um, and that's been the most interesting thing for me. Thank you. Thank you.